Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. So today, in this video, we are going to deep dive into Jenkins and learn how to integrate GitHub with Jenkins. We will talk about both public and private repository and we'll take an example. So guys, let's get started. For starters, on your left, you can see new item. Click on that. Click on freestyle project and give a name. We'll give private repo. Once done, just click on OK and move forward. In the first tab, you can see there is a description column. You can enter anything related to your project. Let's write this is for a private repository. Let's come down and you can see source code management. Click on Git and you have to enter the URL for the repository. Let's go back and open your GitHub account. You can see that there are two repositories over here. Click on that. You can see Jenkins Automation and Batch Scripting. Jenkins Automation is a private repository as you can see and Batch Scripting is a public one. Let's open it in a new tab. On your right, you can see code part. Just take a look at HTTPS and copy it. Come back to Jenkins and paste it over here. Once you paste it, you have to enter the credentials. These are the previous credentials that I have, but I'll tell you how to add them. Click on add, click on Jenkins and enter your username over here. So my username is Logic Ops Lab. How do I know it? Let's go back and check my username over here, which you can see that it is Logic Ops Lab. Type Logic Ops Lab over here. Come down and give the password. Now what should be the password? So in order to do that, it's not necessary that you should give the password over here. Go to the profile part, go to your settings and open a new tab. Come down and go to developer settings. Click on it. You can see three options over here. Click on personal access token. And you can see that there is already one token over here. You might not need it. I'm, so let me delete this. I'll create a fresh one. Now click on generate new token and in the note you have to type the name so let's give it a name jenkins private repo token okay now you have to select the scope scope is something related to your permissions so you can give the read permission or write permission i'll give the read permission only so let me select i won't give the delete repo that's only the read for the user part read for the admin read read uh, and for the repo part you can select everything and if you don't want you can do accordingly i'll select the repo part as well come down and generate the token now make sure to copy your personal access token because you won't be able to see it again so click over here paste it somewhere i have pasted it on notepad plus plus separately and give this password over here once giving it come down in the description, if you want to write anything, you can write. It's not necessary, but it can be used for reference purposes. So I'll just write my private token login credits and just add it. You can see that red issue over here. This comes when there is no credentials for a private repository. I have selected the one which I gave. Now make sure to write the proper name of, of branch over here. Let's go back. You can see the branch name is main. Come back over here and type main. Save it. Now, this will how it looks like. In order to check the credentials, go on credentials as shown. You can see there are two credentials saved over here. One we saved just now and one was the previous one. You can click any of these. This is the one which I just created. You can either delete it or update it. This is just to show where it gets saved. Let's go back and click on build now. Once you click over it, you can see there is a build that got triggered. Click on it and on your left, you can see the console output. So this is the output of what exactly is happening over here. In the top, you can see that there is a name Ravish and you can click on this option as well. You can go back. This was a plain text view. You can see that it is successful now. 
Now building in workspace, you have to check the workspace. So all you can do, let me zoom it a bit. Copy the workspace. Right click and copy it. Go to your start. And paste that path over there. Hit enter. And it will open the folder. Now you can see that the folder is created over here for private repo. So for every build, there is a folder created. Let me show you. So there is a first batch file and a second batch file. Now where is it coming from? Let's go over there in our repository and you can see over here that first batch and second batch and read MD file are over there. So this means that everything got copied from a private repo. So let's create a new one. Now this will be for public repo. Just type the proper name, click on freestyle project and hit OK. In the description, you can write anything that suits you. So we'll write, this is my public repo. Come down again, select the option for source code management as get and give the repository URL. I'll go to Jinky. Bad scripting because it's public. Let's go inside. You can see the main branch code copy this it's the https part and paste it over here now this is a public repository so we do not need any credentials so that's why we are not giving any credentials in the branch specifier write main apply and save it now once you save it click on build now then you can see the build has appeared over there and it is started by my name Click on console output and you can see that it is successful. Again, you can see the workspace. Just copy it like the last time. Open it from the run. Paste the path over there. And open it. And you can see that public repo is created over here. Now let me show you a bigger icon. And you can see the code which I pushed to my library, uh, to my repo is here. So let me go to my repo, other repository and you can see over here, all the folders that were in the repository are checked out in my local using Windows, using Jenkins. So that's how it works guys. And you can see the right option over here, the green one, which means that both of them are successful. For my private repo and public repo, it will show you the last success when it was. So one was three minutes back and one was just 57 seconds back. So there is no failure avail available and the last duration was 18 seconds and 6.3 seconds respectively. So I hope you have understood it guys. Um, this is a very basic idea or how to integrate GitHub with Jenkins on private and public repo. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.